tell me about and tell us about um, your initial um, reaction to what happened and and when you decided to actually take that um, story and share it more widely when you decided to actually make a movie about it and then we'll talk about where you sort of how you became a filmmaker in a moment too how many of you guys know about the incident like well, Oscar, Oscar Grant so okay quite a few some people some people don't well, well um what happened was on, on, on New Year's Eve of 2008 going into 2000 actually early morning of New Year's Day 2009 um uh, there was there was there was reports of a, uh, of, a of a of a fight on on a, on, a, on a BART train, which is like the Bay Area version of the subway, um, and it was in Oakland, in East Oakland, California, um, and, and a few uh, people were pulled off that were that were that were presumed to be suspects, you know, in the in the altercation. And they were detained by the police, and while they were being detained, um, one of the one of the guys who was whose name was Oscar Grant, who was 22 years old, was uh, was shot while he was face down on the concrete and being you know, restrained by another officer. Uh, he was shot in the back and, and he died, <clears throat> you know, later on that day. And, um, you know, I was in, I'm, from the, I'm from the Bay Area. I was born and raised there, been there my whole life. Uh, and and I, was, I was on Christmas break from film school while I was, you know, d during that time. Um, and I was actually working as a security guard at a, uh, at a, at a <laughs> basically like a rave, you know what I mean? Like this rave in Frisco. Uh, and one of my buddies gave me a call and said, you know, somebody got shot at, the, at this bar station and um, they kind of shutting it down. The trains aren't really flowing as fast. And we didn't really know what, what happened. And, and unfortunately, where we live, people, people get shot, you know, all too often. Um, but, but when we got, when I got home later on that day, word came out that this guy was, was shot by a police officer. And later on in the day as following, footage was released because everybody who was on the train, um, the train was held up and people started to record. And, um, people, you know, it's a tradition in the Bay Area. It's almost like Times Square in New York. I've never been to Times Square, but I know everybody goes there for, for New Year's Eve. Um, in the Bay Area, everybody goes, everybody goes to Embarcadero in, 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 in Frisco, um, and they, they watch the fireworks burst off behind, behind the clock tower. So people, you know, fireworks are a visual thing, so people bring, bring video cameras, they bring their cell phones, you know, um, and, and, and everybody who called Bart back, when they saw what was happening with the police officers, because before Oscar was shot, he was, he was, he was punched a couple of times, he was kneed. Um, people started to to record the officers. So in the days following, the footage from 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 Oscar, Oscar being actually shot and killed became to be broadcast on the news, and it became available on the internet on YouTube from all kinds of different angles. So I, I saw that footage when it first when it first came out when it first was released, and my initial immediate response was uh, was was shock, um, sadness, anger. You know, um, I don't know how many people have seen a video of a human being being killed. You know. Um, but it's, it's, I mean, it's one of those things that, that, that you never, you wish you had never seen, you know? Um, and I was the same age as Oscar. He was born the same year as me, dressed like me, looked like me on that, on that grainy, grainy pixelated footage. His friends looked like my friends. Uh, oddly enough, when casting the film, I cast it with a lot of people that I grew up with, a lot of my friends that kind of looked like his, and they fit right in. Um, so I couldn't help but to imagine, you know, me in his place. And um, what happened with the case later on was, was that, uh, it got it got highly politicized. Um, <clears throat> just to backtrack a bit, you know, being being an artist, when, when I'm, whenever I'm emotionally affected by something, I think about it in terms of in terms of filmmaking. Is anybody here a musician? You know, musicians here. When you guys are affected by stuff, you might think about making a song about it, right? Um, or any, if anybody's a cook, you know, if people that cook things that you're close to, you might want to cook things like them. Um, same thing with filmmakers. You know, we, we make we make films about we think about things that that affect us emotionally, and, and we try to process them like that. Anybody here a filmmaker? Want to be a filmmaker? Studying <laughs> filmmaking? Okay. Oh, amazing. <laughs> That's really cool to be in a room full of filmmakers, man. Um, this is your competition eventually. You not know. even, man. It's not a competition. <laughs> it's, it's, my, it's my family. Yeah. It's my, my people. <laughs> <laughs> so I had the idea, like, anytime I see something that emotionally affects me, I think about it in, in, all, in all those terms. Um, but, but when I saw what happened afterwards, in the case, I really politicized. And people on different sides of the fence... Mm -hmm. um, Oscar became whatever they whatever they wanted him to be for that, for whatever their political cause was. Um, you know, some people uh, he became a, a kind of cause celeb and this saint, this martyr. You know, um, this symbol of revolution, this symbol of fighting oppression. He was this activist that never done anything wrong in his life and was executed right there for no reason. Um, and for other people on the other side, uh, he, he he was Oscar was a thug. He was a criminal. He was a felon. Mm -hmm. You know, he was a scumbag. He was he was. He wasn't a human being, you know, he was a drug dealer. You know, he wasn't a, he wasn't a person, he was a gangbanger. You know, he wasn't a father, he was just some black kid that got this girl pregnant, you know. Um, 
and I knew he was neither one of those things. You know, he was a person. You know what I mean? And and and, and I felt like that got lost. Mm-hmm. You know, nobody was talking about the fact that that this guy was 22, and he had people who he met the world to, and he's never coming back to them. You know what I mean? And and I, and I thought that was the deepest the deepest tragedy right there. And I see that um, lack of value for 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 people like myself, for people like Oscar, when they lose their lives. You know, in urban violence, regardless of who's holding the trigger. Um, and I figured that the, making a film about like this from those intimate relationships that everybody can relate to might, 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 be, might, might be help the situation. So that was where the idea came from.